So this is my new project. I am going to attempt to replace as many parts of my coffee setup as I can with wood accents. So I have here some Oregon black walnut that I got from a place called Gobi Walnut in Portland. Um, they're a wood supplier not too far from me. And they have just really beautiful selections. Of, uh, this Oregon black walnut, uh, you can see there, just it's almost 3D. Um, it's hard to see on video, but yeah, it's really be beautiful. And I selected this piece too. This one has some really nice curling in it. And so this is kiln dried and jointed and planed and nothing else. It's just raw. So it's gonna look really good, I think, with uh, some wax or um, linseed oil on it. So I'm going to attempt to replace the handle and the lid of uh, this gooseneck kettle. This is the EKG, uh, Fellow EKG. And Fellow actually sells handles and lids in wood already, um, but I don't think that you can get them in walnut. Um, and I think I can do something a little bit different, a little bit more creative um, with that. Um, the next thing I'm going to try to do is recreate um, the wood accents on the niche here with walnut. Um, this is, I'm going to definitely hang on to this. This is really beautiful oak. Um, so they did a great job. I think I can recreate this by putting it in a chuck and turning it. Um, this one's going to be interesting. It's got a unique shape and a really um, custom angle there in the back to align with the, the stand. So I'll have to get that right. I think what I'm going to do is use this existing piece as a template for a flush cut router bit and just go around it. Um, the feet are actually just for show. There's rubber underneath them. This thing is like super heavy and solid and it's not going to go anywhere, but the uh, the feet kind of spin on there. So it's more of a visual thing. So I think I can turn those. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to try to do a new handle, a new Porta filter handle for the Gadget Classic here. I think uh, what I'm going to do is buy a bottomless porter filter that already has a, a round handle and just lathe my own and attach it. And, and then lastly, uh, I'm going to try to replace the uh, the steam wand knob here, or steam valve with a piece of uh, walnut as well. So hopefully, hopefully it works out. That's the plan at least. And I think it's, yeah, hopefully it looks really good with uh, the white and the walnut. So take you guys along for the ride. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the plan for the Gadget Classic Porta Filter. This is the stock one that comes with the Gadget. Um, <clears throat> it's a dual dual Porta Filter, 58 millimeter. It's kind of cheap. Yeah, there's lots of plastic involved here and the handle feels kind of flimsy and cheap. So we're gonna be replacing that with um, this bottomless Porta Filter. I uh, don't know the brand name, but I'll, I'll link to it in the description. Um, and it had a handle on it. I took it off um, and we're going to try to turn our own here. The way that this, the bottom connects to the handle is just with this little screw here. And it has um, like a hex socket on it um, that you use to kind of screw it in there. So what we're going to do is drill in to one of the ends here before we mount this. And we're gonna drill in with a 3 8 inch bit that will accept this perfectly. And the reason of doing that before we start turning is that we can make sure that it's perfectly centered and we can lathe around it. 